I don't know where it's gone now. He went, he went overseas and that was kind of the end of that. The problem is you get too high of a concentration of magnetic fields and you're just, you're fighting a losing battle. Now what Chris did is Chris built an electrostatic equivalent of it, consisting of a thousand picofarad variable capacitor that was spun by, I believe, a 10,000 RPM motor. RPM is the key, same thing with Tesla. All of Tesla's true devices always spun at some horrible velocity. And this, this highly rotating, high-speed rotating variable capacitor, when hooked to a battery, would produce electricity from nowhere. I have a little device in my car where I operate my 24-volt military field radios off of 12 volts. Very crude device. It consists of a vibrator that charges two 12-volt capacitors in series and discharges, or ch charges them in parallel on 12 volts and discharges them in series on 24 volts. If the dwell angle on the contacts in the vibrator gets screwy, when you turn the switch off, the thing just sits there and keeps humming, powering the 327 pilot lamp for a period of about two minutes. But of course, that's impossible. It's like all Tesla's work. It's all impossible. It's like the transformer. That's why the lights should go out right now, but they're still humming away. Any more questions? Yeah. Well, probably the same people that uh, bulldozed my station in Bolinas and are now presently trying to close down KPH in Bolinas, which Marconi started in 1913. Same people would like to get rid of all those tubes and knobs on your radios when I caught the fire department cutting my coax and said they didn't want any radios with knobs anymore. And the FBI said that the dope dealers were all upset that I was listening to their telephone calls, so the county came in with their SWAT team to get rid of my radios. It uh, gets into a weird subject when you start to explore it. I'll tell you right now, the cellular telephone companies want to make the situation just like it is in the so-called United Kingdom. You better not get caught with a scanner in the UK or you go to the brig. We will have none of your radios here, Mr. Dollar, and your experiments are banned in the town of Bolinas. We have a group to make sure. They even went so far as to cut down all the roadside telephones. So look up a group named Commonweal in Bolinas and talk to Hillary. They'll tell you who. It's up to you to experiment. I already lost a gallon of blood over it right out of the rear end. Any more questions? Yeah. Uh, well, it all goes back. You got to go to the library. I can give you some names: Steinmetz, Kennelly, Heaviside, Maxwell, Faraday, Bewley. Oh, let's see who else. Uh, mathematician by the name of McFarland that worked out of Austin, Texas. Well, those are pretty much it. You work with those guys, and uh, you know, and, and do your basic studies. You know, learn the algebra, and learn your dimensionalities. It takes about 14, 15 years. <laughs> You're not on the internet, are you? <laughs> I'm on CW every day. 7037 in the morning and 7137 at night. The rest of it, as far as I'm concerned, is just the Babylonian telephone. Because <laughs> that two meters isn't good for your face. <coughs> I did experiments with the higher frequencies. They cause eye cataracts, so I'd be careful about holding that stuff around your head. These little silly phones that people carry around, I don't know. 15 minute exposure and I found I was getting 100% mutation in radish seeds. <laughs> Things are uh, a little different than you would think right off. Any more questions? Well, I guess I scared everybody. <laughs> And uh, I don't think anyone's been disappointed in, in the uh, comment that was made that this will help to you to uh, think, I think is the word. We have a lot going on. We have one thing that we do, and we'd like to we, we say thank you to our speakers. We have a little speaker's trophy just as a, a memento, just to say thank you very much. We really appreciate you guys being here.